came from as far away as America, the United States, and mm -hmm. all across Europe. Mm -hmm. How important is that to you that these people have come after these, the acts of the last couple of days, that, that, that it's been noticed across the world? Mm -hmm. I work in Germany and I think German people are worried because of course all all these events um, brings a bear, uh, nazism and um, I think the more people from all the countries from all over the world will show how um, will show their solidarity to French people and I think then we will be stronger than uh, the uh, forces uh, of evil which come from well, we know where from, but... Uh... It's interesting you mention that because we talked to Cecile just a little further up from you in the crowd earlier, and she said it reminded her of her grandparents. They fought one war, and she felt that this was her war. Do you feel the same? Do you, do you feel this is a war It's not on the same scale, but do you think it's a, a war that threatens your society in the same way as much? Yeah, I think uh, in one way it is a war. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's a war that France can win? Well, I hope so. I do hope so for the future, for our children, our grandchildren, and it's not only France, actually. I think when I talk to German people, uh, they think of Europe, and I think it's all over the world. People have to understand at one point that uh, even though they have a different religion, we can live together in freedom, in peace, and respect each other. That's it. Simone, thanks very much Thank for you joining you, and good luck on the march yes. today. I hope you, you get to join it soon. Thanks yeah. for talking to us. We're just leaving uh, the Place de République uh, behind me here on this unity march that was called uh, in response to the wave of terror attacks that uh, shook France this week. There was probably well over a million people at this march. We're going to try and talk to some of them now and ask them why they came. Yeah. She said she's uh, come here today to defend the freedom of speech. So this, um, this is uh, one of the cartoons from Charlie Hebdo and it says 100 lashes of the whip if you're not already dead of, from laughing from laughing c'est la démocratie qui est en, en jeu et du coup ça dépasse la France okay. so, voilà okay. c'est tous les pays démocratiques qui I, sont I asked them um, what you think about the number of people who turned out today you, is she surprised by the number she said no she, do you think it's an, it's normal that this number of people turns out because this this is about democracy and about the future of France I'm I'm Arab Muslim so I I'm against all the terror and all the killing so I'm here to stand with the French people and to say no for killing and uh, I'm studying in Lyon and I don't want problem because I'm Muslim. Sometimes I feel uh, in danger because, you know, sometimes they, a lot of extreme attack the mosque so and uh, it's not good for me and for French people. He came today because he doesn't want freedom to be killed. Pour leur montrer que l'humour, ça se détruit pas. We have to stand up and show them that uh, that humor is alive and, and it is not it has not been destroyed by these attacks. We are free today. People are free, and we want our freedom. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. You can see we are not afraid. <laughs> People from all walks of life filled the boulevards of Paris Sunday, gathering at Place de la République at the base of a statue celebrating French democracy and bearing the national motto, Liberty, Equality, Brotherhood. A group of Muslim men took a prime spot to show their opposition to the attacks. Homemade signs celebrated French values and mourned the dead. The mantra, I am Charlie, was pervasive expressing solidarity with the staff members of the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo, who were gunned down for publishing cartoons lampooning the Muslim prophet Muhammad. This woman wore a Jewish skull cap to memorialize the four people killed at the kosher market, even though she is not Jewish. I feel sick to be French when they assassinate people because they were Jews, and they assassinate artists for the sole reason that they were the conscience of France, who agitated and were just the guarantors of liberty. A high school student paused on a bench to prepare a cartoon of his own, extolling the virtues of ink cartridges over shell cartridges that hold bullets. 
This Paris-born Muslim man, whose family is from Guinea, came to the march with his wife to make a point. This is not Islam. This is not a question of religion. It's a personal problem. And in fact, it doesn't have to do with Islam. Leaders from dozens of countries joined the French president at the head of the march, along with some family members of those who were killed. The attacks hit many French people hard, striking at the heart of their view of a tolerant, equal, secular society. The marchers emphatically stated their intention to carry on. Terrorism must not win, and I am here to show I am not afraid and to defend our rights. I am very optimistic. I think we went through a difficult period, but I see clearly that we arrive here united against terrorism. That's what counts. After the horrific attacks, it seemed a strange time to talk about optimism, but as thousands upon thousands of marchers passed by over many hours, it became easier to understand what he was talking about. Al Pesson, VOA News, Paris. Good afternoon. I'm Mara Skivokampo at ABC News headquarters in New York with a digital report on this Sunday afternoon. We begin in France with a massive national day of unity. An estimated 1.3 million people pouring into the streets of Paris, a show of solidarity and defiance after the terrorist attacks in Paris this week. World leaders standing shoulder to shoulder taking part in the march. The importance of today is to show solidarity with the French people and the French government after the appalling attacks in Paris. We're here to demonstrate that we all stand for the values of democracy, of freedom, of freedom of expression, of tolerance. Also present, family members of the victims, some wearing Charlie Hebdo headbands in honor of the murdered journalists killed by gunmen with links to al-Qaeda. ABC's Alex Marquardt joins us now live from Paris with the very latest details. Alex. Good afternoon, Mara. We're out on the Place de la République in central Paris. This march ended an hour and 15 minutes ago, but as you can see, the crowds haven't really dispersed. As you said, 1.3 million people, the largest march in French history. It drew 44 world leaders, according to French officials, among them uh, Prime Minister David Cameron of Britain, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and the Palestinian uh, President Mahmoud Abbas. With those types of numbers, with those kinds of dignitaries, you're going to have a lot of security measures, an extra 5,500 security personnel deployed, not just along the parade route, but all across Paris. This was supposed to be a silent march, and for the most part, it was, except there were these spontaneous bursts of applause uh, to remember those who have been killed over the past week. One moment really striking me today when there was a convoy of police vehicles driving through a crowd uh, and, these, and the people lining the sidewalk burst into applause, a kind of thank you for the past week. Of course, many of the signs that we saw today were Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie, kind of the war cry that we've heard since the massacre at the Charlie Hebdo headquarters uh, on Wednesday. But there were other signs as well. I am Jewish. I am secular. I am a policeman, which was just showing that this wasn't just about Charlie Hebdo. This was about France as a whole, about the attacks on the Jewish community in that, in that kosher grocery store. It was really a spectacular display of unity this afternoon. Mara? Yeah, absolutely. And amazing pictures there. Alex, let's talk a little bit about the investigation and the hunt for that female fugitive who is believed to be linked to the gunmen. Is there any progress on that front? Well, her name is Hayat uh, Boumedienne. She was, is the girlfriend uh, of the terrorist who attacked that kosher grocery store uh, on Friday. We have learned from French officials that she was not in Paris, in France, really, when the attacks went down. She had traveled to Spain, then to Turkey, and then down to the border with Syria, which is extremely porous. And we understand that on Thursday, the same day that her boyfriend killed a French policewoman, she crossed into Syria. And if she's in Syria, uh, with people uh, of her ilk, uh, Islamic extremists uh, affiliated with the Islamic State, she's not. No one's going to be able to get to her. This is very much a country on edge. Of course, there's huge relief uh, that this saga is over, that those terrorists have been killed. Uh, but at the same time, there is still fear uh, that there could be more incidents like this one. Uh, French officials, the French president, warning that this threat isn't over, uh, and and asking the French people to stay vigilant. 
Mara? Very, very real concern. ABC's Alex Marquardt live in Paris. Thank you, Alex.